Hi, my name is Marcel. I'm the owner of HPA Motorsports. Today, our team is going to be installing our HPA SHS twin tube coilover in the Mark V R32. HPA proudly brought KW into the country in 98. That's 20 years ago today. And we work intimately with them as we speak. In 2005, we launched the SHS line. And what had happened to that point is we'd really enjoyed the V1. Uh, it was a great out of the box solution for those that didn't want to tweak and tune on compression and rebound but it was just a little bit too soft or a little bit too low and when we really fell in love with the r32 platform we felt that you didn't want to have your control arms tucked you didn't want to have the threat of the oil pan dragging manhole covers so we came up with a solution that sat probably on average about 10 millimeters higher had a little bit more nosedive control and a little bit more transition into mid-speed range because that's the way we drove the cars over here we don't have the 300 kilometer in our autobahn we don't need to be so firm at the high speed we want a little bit more compliance so we worked cooperatively with the engineers at KW. We created a valve code specific to our enjoyment value of the Volkswagen Audis here in North America, how we want to use the four wheel drive R32s or the TTs or the A3s and later on the GTIs and created the SHS line, sport handling system. One of the best bits about the SHS is that it's full stainless steel. Living up here in the Pacific Northwest and a lot of our clients out in the East, we tend to buy the all wheel drive cars to run up the hill with the boards on the roof. And the disadvantage is when you put your summer wheels on, you want to be low, nice uh, summer stance, carving the canyons in the winter, you probably want a little bit more clearance to put the snowies on. KW invented this D-shaped thread. They did this stainless steel impregnated plastic spring seat, so it won't bind. If you have an aluminum to steel or aluminum to zinc plate or aluminum to stainless, you get fusion, uh, chemical reaction. And you know, you set your spring seat, you run through the winter salty roads, you go in the spring to put your summers on and lower the car, lo and behold, it's frozen. D-shaped curve allows the spring seat to travel and digest debris and dirt and dust with ease. So this here allows you to invest in a coilover, which is ride height adjustable and still actually have ride height adjustment throughout the lifespan of the coilover. The SHS is built in Germany with the top components. We have a wet fill damper. So the entire tube, there's no insert. A lot of the offshore brands, They'll build a tube, they'll drop some generic insert in, one damper fits all platforms, in it goes some washers and spacers and goes. If you open this, it's full oil, all the shims and the bits and pieces will come out. It also makes it serviceable. KW, who's our manufacturer, they have resources here in North America, down in California, and allows our owners over the lifetime of ownership of their car to actually rebuild and service their dampers should the need arise. The owner of this particular R32 invested in an all-wheel drive system, German engineering, something will give them a lifetime enjoyment in the sunny days and in the winter days. When he came to us for coilover, we wanted to match that. We gave him stainless steel for a lifetime of corrosion resistance, a height adjustment solution that will meet his individual needs all season long, and a construction that's not only serviceable, but that's built with the highest standards of parts managed by the top team in the world at KW. One of the questions we get all the time is, will the ride be harsh? Sport suspension is always associated with a rough ride, and that's just not the case. KW, the world leader in twin tube construction, differs from, let's say, Bilstein, the world leader in monotube construction. The, the fundamental difference between monotube and twin tube, you have three operating zones of a shock absorber, much like you do on an engine dyno. You have a low speed, which is your pitch and roll under braking or on ramps. You have your mid speed, which is the transition into the corner on the highway lane changes. And you have the high speed, which would be more like concrete interchanges on a bridge or manhole covers. If you tune a damper, you really want to focus on the low to mid-speed transition. You want to tighten up that car so under braking it feels stable. When they aggressively turn into an on-ramp, the car carves in nice and flat, but you really don't want that compromise so when you're bouncing off railroad tracks so you have concrete separations on the freeways. KW's twin tube allows an infinite adjustability. We can put 40% more power, 50% over factory to tighten up that sense of the car and digressively bend the curve right back down to near factory high speed damping characteristics, giving a real limit on the compromise that you're going to encounter. A monotube, like a Bilstein, is more linear. You put that 40% at the bottom end, you'll have that same plot all the way up to the high speed, so you get a harsher, more compromised comfort at the top end. SHS, with the softer springs, the rising rate jazz bumpers, and doing the work on the compression on the damper, we have a real good balance between mechanical and fluid control of the chassis. You get an uncompromised feel in the car with great grip, great performance, and great stability. Thanks for taking a minute to listen and check out our product line. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, feel free to email our team.